Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Saturday morning. Uh, it has not been a great week for me this week, I will not lie. I have really not been feeling very well since like last Friday. Um, starting to feel a bit better today, so I'm heading out for a little bike ride. Um, I've actually driven to David Lloyd. I'm not going from home because I live at the top of a massive hill and I have no shame in saying I don't fancy coming back up that today right at the end of the ride. So gonna head out for maybe like an hour this morning and then I might go and get a massage for my plantar this afternoon, <laughs> exciting. And I also am hoping to sort out my front lawn so that I can potentially get my house on the market over the next few months. So I will catch you on the bike. So really enjoying the ride. However, bike fit. I must get one this summer. I keep playing around with my cleats and everything and it is just not right and really annoying because it makes it quite unenjoyable. So must do that this year. But they're just so expensive and I'm so scared it won't help, you know? Yeah, so if you have any recommendations, please do let me know. I just think like it will make cycling so much more enjoyable again. Yeah, so I had a bike fit um, probably about five years ago now and it was awful. It cost me like 200, 300, 200, 300 pounds and I didn't feel any benefit. And now I'm a bit like nervous, I guess, of having another one. So that's kind of where I am. And then I'm also thinking of maybe getting a new bike this summer however it's so hard to justify that amount of money so I'm in two minds how about that and then I've also just had this bike rebuilt however I think the cranks that I've put on it are a bit too hard for my current level of fitness so I might replace those but it's just so hard to make my mind up because it's just everything is so expensive so yeah we shall see There are bits where I'm like, why am I bothering? This is absolutely awful. And then bits like, I'm like, oh, this is great. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed that. Off for a shower and then I'm gonna book a massage and go get some lunch and dig up my front garden again. So on the topic of bike fits, um, one thing I am absolutely obsessed with at the moment is Cade Media and the guys from Cade Media. Um, and the way that this links into bike fit is obviously bike fit James is on there and I absolutely love the videos that they produced. I have been binging them and catching up. My dream would be to have a bike fit from him, but I don't think my budget quite lends to 400 pounds right now. But one day, you never know, um, I might be doing that. But yeah, absolutely obsessed with them. I think they're hilarious. I think the content they're sharing is amazing it's such a variety and i really appreciate like i really enjoy all the bike packing stuff it's something that i'd like to do maybe next year i'm thinking of maybe taking three months out and going bike packing and traveling because it's something i never got to do because of my health when i was younger and i just think that they're credible so go and check them out so i'm home i've had lunch and i have just finished this jigsaw and um, now I'm going to try and find some motivation to go and do the garden. However, I might just not bother. Um, and then I've got a 320 massage, which I am really looking forward to. I've made it outside with my new fork. Um, <laughs> this might be a very short gardening sesh, but we'll see. Just out for a little walk at Platfields Park for my massage. Absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely day. I have just seen someone throw a stick at one of the geese and it's actually really riled me. I was going to say something but then I was like, no Rachel, stay out of it. But it's just nature, why? It's really sad and then you've got this, this geese that are getting really, really annoyed and I, you just wonder what the hell is wrong with people. One other thing that's really sad that I'm guessing, like we're seeing more than ever now is um, wildlife not in its natural habitat like i've just driven to the gym and there is again i think i've got a bit of an obsession with the geese but there's one just in the middle of almost walking out on the road which i also saw the other day and 
they shouldn't be there they should be on the canals they should be in the lakes you know and it's really really sad that this is happening and same with the deer near where i live like they've been out on the roads because their habitat's getting cut down like literally cut down and it's it's absolutely devastating when you actually think about what's happening in the world these days and yeah i just wanted to to pipe in with that because i am very passionate about nature and the environment and it makes me really sad Hi, so it's the next day. Um, had a fantastic massage after the whole stick and the geese debacle. Um, and then did not do a lot else for the rest of the day. Um, I did not get the garden done because after a chat with my stepdad, we were just like, there's no way I'm going to be able to dig that out. It needs like proper rotivating because it's just like thick clumps of clay. So the gardener will be needing to do that. So hopefully I'll get that sorted this week. And this morning is really grisly. I've not had a great night's sleep, but I have had some breakfast. I've done some jigsaw. And now I'm off to David Lloyd to go and use the cross trainer as my ankle's still not very good. And I'm at David Lloyd and it is so wet. But here we are. And I'm early enough that it's pretty empty because when it's wet and a Saturday, you can imagine it's pretty challenging to get parked. So off to the cross trainer and then it's gonna be a very chill day today because obviously I was feeling poorly last week and I know me I'll come back at 100 million miles an hour and make myself feel ill again so um yeah chilled day after this and I do need to go and buy some more jigsaws because important things in life actually okay um went on the cost trainer and i actually ran very slowly for 20 minutes and like the run didn't actually hurt but it's not healed fully if you know what i mean so I'm just gonna throw a few really easy runs in every now and again and see how it goes and my friend messaged me while i was in the gym and said do you want to come to a pop-up yoga session at 10 30 so that is where i'm heading now and i'm going to get some food on the way because i'm hungry and yeah so chilling out has been done and I am now going to head to go to a charity shop to buy some more jigsaws. I'm mulling over a swim this afternoon but I probably won't um, in the art of not overdoing it. And yeah, pretty much just chill out for the rest of the day to be honest. Um, I've got lots of stuff coming up over the next few months. Something very exciting which I can't share yet and it probably won't be exciting for you guys. But it's quite a big change to my life so going to be quite exciting. Um, but yeah, and I am actually going to sign the video off here. So have a fabulous rest of your day and I might catch you in another video sometime.